Um, hello, my name is Judy. Um, it's good to be with you all. And I shared a little bit at the end of Prophetic Art when I was um, had my opportunity to present um, what God helped <laughs> me to create. And um, I shared how I you know, wasn't a person that broke the rules. Um, but I realized that I broke the rules. I think I shared that I went that way on the walk. You know, like everybody else was going on that way, and I went on that way. Um, so, um, and I didn't really get past the second station because I feel that that very first one that I went to, the very first one that I went to, um, provided exactly what God wanted for me to have. Um, and it was on adopting grace, and this grace is what God uses to bring us into his family. And the verse is Ephesians 1, 4 through 6. And he chose us to be his very own, joining us to himself even before he laid the foundation of the universe. Because of his great love, he ordained us so that we would be seen as holy in his eyes with an unstained innocence. For it was always in his perfect plan to adopt us as his delightful children through our union with Jesus, the anointed one, so that... His tremendous love that cascades over us mm -hmm. would glorify grace. Mm -hmm. The same love he has for his beloved one, Jesus, he has for us. Mm -hmm. And this unfolding plan brings him great pleasure. And the ponder point at the bottom was, look closely at the tree in front of you. Mm -hmm. Think about how this tree represents God's family. You are a child of God, and it is by His grace that you are adopted into His family. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't see a particular tree. I kept thinking, where's that mighty oak, you know? Or I was like, I don't know where I'm looking. So I just kind of turned left, and I was like, there was a tree. And it was kind of like my picture. It was just brown. Um, and I looked closer, and it's one of those, I don't know what you call them, gum trees? You know, with the prickly little mm -hmm. sweet gum. Sweet gum, thank you. Um, that's what that was up there, and I the immediate impression I had that even in this part of the dormancy, there's still life because that was evidence that that tree had produced, and it was still hanging on, as it were. So I said, Lord, what does that mean for me? And the thing that came to me, it was the word prickly because there was a little, you know, the little things on the end. Prickly people are his children too. And it's his grace in me that allows me to see past those prickles. God help, God help me to use words of love, compassion when I speak to all of your child, children. And compassion, love, and grace smooths out the prickles. Thank you for letting me share. Thank you.